Hello everyone. Hi, it's 0386SX and we're gonna go in a different direction than we normally do. See, we have this uh, streaming media mirror dash cam that I received for my birthday and we're putting it in, in, well, September. It's been a very weird year, let me tell you. And part of that was the alternator overcharging problem this car was a victim of. I believe that most of that is resolved or it's to a point where it's not dangerous anymore. So, and we also got a nice day. We got a three day weekend. Let's get her done. It's a AZ Dome PG02S. So, we are going to turn dumb car into a less dumb car. So, I think appropriate title, Smart Mirror, Dumb Car. Look at that. Okay, so this warning is hilarious. I can get it to go clear. It says a faster memory card is required on this beer dash cam. A genuine U3 speed is recommended. Fake and cheap cards are forbidden. Hear that? Forbidden. There's, they're not messing around here. So anywho, let's begin. Smart beer, dumb car. So we got the mirror itself, uh, USB slash charging. So this can run off of a battery if you so choose. I did charge it a couple nights ago, so we should be in theory good to go. Uh, we have AV in, and we have where the card would go. The, it's a micro SD. And we have a GPS module. So I don't know what that's all capable of yet, but you know, you and I are gonna find out together. Let's go further into the box of goodies here. We have our L instructionaires, owner's manual, and enjoy your smart driving and your very dumb car. Wait, hold on. That looks like a very dumb car. Nothing against it, just it doesn't look like a lick of technology has been in that car whatsoever. We also have a camera. I don't know if you can tell that it is a camera, but it is definitely a camera. Uh, it's for the rear-facing camera if you so choose to do that. Uh, you have your uh, power adapter. You throw that right in the cigarette adapter and it will do its thing. We have our GPS module. We got some mounts, it looks like some cable management stuff. And finally, we have a 32 gigabyte AZ Dome micro SD card. I don't know what quite all this is, but it looks like cable management and whatnot. So let's get the mirror out of the cardboard. And now there's a couple ways you could do this. Cause there's your camera right here. So you got a camera right built into this thing. You can't, can't get much uh, easier than that. And come on. There we go. Look at that thing. That is just a beaut. So we got dash cam in there too. That's pretty awesome. So now in theory, I don't know how quite this is supposed to work, but you're supposed to be able to mount this onto the mirror itself. I don't know how quite that's going to work, but uh, well, perhaps we'll read the old owner's manual and we'll get it done. So I'm going to bone up on the old owner's manual. We're going to see how this, uh, oh, there's some clamps there, but they look like they're backwards. I wonder if that's what these things are for, if they're, if they don't strap around our mirror. So, all right. So I'm going to be uh, doing boning up on the old owner's manual and then we'll uh, get this, uh, we'll get this up on our mirror. Okay. So I figured that out pretty quickly. I am not a rocket scientist, so uh, bear in that in mind. These pieces here mount your smart beer. And I may have to tighten this up a little bit. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I just broke it here. Yeah, so I gotta mount this somehow. Yeah, this, uh, I don't know how well this is gonna work in my car, but we'll see. It's a little heavy for it. 
But in theory, that's what you're supposed to be able to do is strap this onto your existing mirror or strap it somewhere in the car. But I don't know how well it's going to work on this car because we are north of 20 years old. But that's step number one. I guess step two would be to put in this CF card or rather micro SD. I don't know where you put a CF card in this uh, contraption. And they did give us, uh, I would hope they gave us a real, genuine Class 10 or U3 memory card and did not give us a fake or cheap forbidden card. So, this could be done supposedly, and we'll lower the mirror. Ah, come on. I don't know guys, this feels like one of those fake and cheap cards that, that are forbidden. There we go. Let's power her on. Like I said, I did charge it, and we have ourselves a dash cam. Yeah, I have a feeling that this is not going to entirely work all that well for this car. Yeah, this is not going to work all that well for this car, or... I gotta tighten something on my mirror. I'm not sure, but. Because I'm sure the first bump I hit will be a problem. But there is your smart mirror. So now we could do one of two things. We can mount the GPS, which fortunately you don't have to go far. I would imagine you could just be able to stick that on top of a windshield somewhere. Oh, we're recording. Don't stop recording. I don't want you to record. Oh gosh, okay turn it off so next thing is that we are going to install the GPS module all right we have that GPS installed kind of it is tucked underneath the uh, carpet here and to some of those that say well it looks like crap well this car has almost 233,000 miles on it and a lot of rust I don't give a rip if some cables don't look perfect. So you even got this uh, ghetto microphone thing here going. It's been like that for nine, 10 years. Who cares? So onto the camera. That one's gonna be tricky too, because it's gonna mount, uh, but who knows? We'll see. Maybe it's not gonna be as complicated as I'm thinking, but this is the rear dash camera and you don't need it, but You have it. And on some of these, you can uh, wire them up to uh, be to enable the uh, that feature when the car backs up. And to do that, all you have to do now it sounds so easy, I know, is hook one of your leads up to a reverse light, and that in theory should do it. So I think that's what this extra red wire is for. But I know, we'll find out, we'll get it mounted. Gotta put it around the trim. Cause what I'm gonna try and do, at least get it on one of these sides and it's gonna be rather interesting, but I think we'll get her. This little kitty's got a date. It's gonna get a bath for its date though. Mmm, that's not, really, not too bad. But I am going to cheat. We're gonna run our GPS cable, our rear camera, rather, on the driver's side. So it looks like it is the path of least resistance on this car. Now if all my cards play right, the camera will be located right above the license plate. It's in. We finally have our lead to our rear facing camera. We have a uh, plastic, a trim, all sorts of messed up. I think I cracked the seatbelt. Uh, but, like I said, this car hits 233,000 miles on it. It's gonna be imperfections. So, now we gotta run our cable the rest of the way in, get it monitored to our mirror, and uh, wired into our car. Okay, we are installed. 
And we need a car key. Now, I'm not sure if I have the reverse light thing correct yet, but I believe I do. Uh, wait, we need to turn this puppy on. So, there's that. And we are now working. I don't know what all the other functionality does yet, but we'll figure that out. Let's put the thing in reverse, and in theory it's supposed to give me a backup cam. And, oh, nice, it does. Look at that. So the backup cam's working like a charm. It's a split view. That's kind of cool. And, well, that's interesting. I can see that being distracting, but let's see if it, that is very interesting. Yeah, so now that's just the backup cam. Okay. Try that again. That's so weird. Okay, I am not, in or did it. Okay, so. We're in reverse. Yeah, this is just weird. All right, let's try this again. We'll start the car first. Turn her on. We on? Reverse. very possible that I just don't have that wired right but you know it's very easy yeah there we go so if we tap off to the right you can get the reverse camera which obviously I'll have to uh, adjust because that doesn't tell me much of anything so so we're at least working and I'll have to futz with the other features later in the meantime since we have everything in place I'm gonna clean everything up adjust that camera accordingly and then we will move on to our next uh, portion of Smart Mirror Dumb Car. Okay, so you'll notice that this review is being done in February. I got so darn busy that I kind of put it off and then I ran into what was either an idiot that was texting and driving or, uh, and as you can tell, the idiot was either texting and driving or they were drunk or being stupid. I'm not sure, but Either way, they're going about 40 miles an hour in a 55, because, well, this is Wisconsin, and, you know, they decided to speed up as soon as I tried passing them, and let's just say I had the speed to uh, get past this idiot. But if you actually do install this AZ dome, you'll notice some problems. And I know that some of the anti-Ford people are gonna come out and say it, when you add the extra weight to this mirror, it'll droop down unless you anchor it somehow or just replace the original rear mirror. That's not a fault of the AZ Dome or the OEM mirror. The OEM mirror is doing what it's supposed to do according to manufacturer specs at the time of when this car was made. So let's get all horn, let's get that out of our systems now. How's the picture? It's actually pretty damn good. I know you can't tell, really tell with the glare, but it is actually a pretty darn good picture. You put it in reverse, and you get that. Three minute increments of video. And there's some settings you can get into, although I don't know how to get into them right now. Okay, yeah, so you can't get into the settings when you're in a reverse. And if you put the parking monitor on, you get the lines. So let's uh, see if we can turn that off and I'll show you. Okay. Might be some other menu. G sensor medium. Format rewind. Beep sound. Oh, parking guideline. Here we go. If we turn this off, then this will disappear. See? Well, this is split screen now. 
yeah no more lines so let's just get the backup camera but either way that this does take some practice to get this parking guide thing on and let's see let's see if i can turn that back on because that actually is something i'd like to get used to here very very responsive when you can hit the thing right and you have this split menu you gotta hit the towards the middle to try and get that changed over this reverse cam and you'll notice there's arrows there's a this is kind of like a digital camera so if you notice that your camera is too high or low uh, just do the best you can and hit these buttons and you should be good if you ever want to stop recording you just hit that and you'll it'll stop recording I don't know why you want to but uh, that's uh you could turn the sound off which I have because, well, I don't find a reason to need that sound. It, it's just recording me. Who cares? So let's turn the car off. I think it'll start recording again. Nope, okay. Somehow it knows to start recording when I get in the car or it just never stops recording. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, nice little clear image. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, drive down the road a little bit and we'll review the footage together. Okay, so I know my setup here is a little uh, primitive here, but uh, the AZ Dome will automatically make six folders like this. I'm not sure what EMR, F and R exactly are, Movie F and R, obviously, uh, the video recordings, photos, if the thing takes a photo, or if you tell it to take a photo, but EMR is more video, I guess? I, I don't know. Let's find out. But I guess uh, the premise of this is I want to show the video quality on this, and it's, it's quite nice. Trying to open this here. Hold on. Oh, it's already open. It's real nice. It tells you the speed limit or how fast you're going. It tells, uh, I don't know if that's latitude and longitude. I'm trying to see if it, uh, this was before I adjusted the mirror, so it may look askew in this particular one just trying to yeah you can almost read some of these road signs so that's that's darn good so let me go bring up another one here this is a uh, boring highway driving but see what else I can find here all right, so this is the one I took earlier today in the parking lot. Although probably a little bit poorer than I anticipated, and it actually is a really nice quality. But this is also a nice sunny day, so I can't say for sure that how it's going to be in the night versus overcast. There you go. So this it's a little bit slower, but... But yeah, that's actually some very good, very good photo video quality there. I'm really happy about it. So let's close that one out. I you go pull up the reverse camera real quick. And here's the reverse camera. I think some moisture got into mine, but, uh, you know, it's actually overall, it's not bad quality at all. Is that, I'd like to find one other one from earlier this morning. I don't know if I have it anymore as a... Uh, these video files do get to fill up the thing fast, so you may want to up to a 64 gig or 128 gig or whatever the AZ Dome will tolerate. So let me go find that real quick. Oh, here we go. We're moving. Yeah, for a reverse cam, that's not bad at all. Yeah, you can read the lettering on that van. It's the city cab. So yeah, let me go find another video. 
All right, so a little bit of bad news. That video that I wanted from this morning is already gone. It already got wiped. Uh, probably imagine because this thing was recording quite a bit. So that's general rule of thumb. If you do have a find yourself in an unfortunate situation, you will want to get those files off as soon as possible, if not by a bigger card. Even then, still get that off. Treat it as a failing hard drive. Get that data off as soon as you can. Don't wait. Because once it's overwritten, it's gone. And that's exactly what these things do when they fill up a space. They overwrite. So you are doing a data scrub. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. I think we have pretty much everything under control with the, with the dash cam. And everything, I got it working exactly the way I would like it. So, uh, yeah, I don't have anything else to add. Uh, I think the only thing else I'm going to maybe do... It's in the cars right now. I'm using the supplied USB, the cigarette lighter USB card, or adapter. I don't know why I called it a card, but to power up the camera. It does have some battery life, but it's not good at all. That's that's one thing I don't like is that the battery life was non-existent on mine. Maybe like two minutes and it shuts off. So that's, that's a thing we can complain about, legitimately complain about. Yeah, let's see here. I don't know what this EMR is. I, I'm very interested. To... Let's pause this one just for background noise or whatever. But yeah, everything's pretty much situated. I, If you're in doubt, like I said, I don't know what the cost on this is because it was a gift. It's really easy to install if you know your way around any car mechanics or automotive whatsoever. If you know your way, or even electrical, even you have to do a little electrical, so not hard. I'm not a mechanic by any stretch of the imagination, so I was able to do it. Although my car is extremely old, and if I didn't do anything perfectly, eh, who cares? Like wiring that reverse light and just putting everything through, just routing wires through, I think those are the two most difficult things by far. And yeah, just routing the cables through, that was probably the most difficult part, and finding a way to prop my mirror up was uh, probably the other half of it. So, but you can't do this soon enough, so. I don't claim to be an expert, so, but you may ask any questions or have any comments or constructive criticism. Uh, that's what the comment section is for. And again, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good one.